can join the play now with the first ball. Darren Goff is the bowler. Gary Kirsten is taking strike. Well, it was an uncomfortable delivery to play. It got up quite quickly. Him on the sort of ribs, rib cage area. It's the only one that's got up for a while. Nicely played. Beautifully clipped to mid wicket. That's a long run. <laughs> Not sure he's going to get there. It's a long boundary. You felt in the end he ought to overtake it. We see in uh, dry conditions a fielder racing away and the ball actually gaining on him. But uh, Darren Goff did all the running that time. Well, that was uh, a possibility. It's gone for four. He's cracked that beautifully. Giles is uh, one who's having a little bit of a problem with the right hand left hand batting combination. Hasn't got his length right for the right hand to Cullis. That's the drifter, but there's so much width there that Gary Kirsten can just flail the bat at it. 99 for one. Good little surge from South Africa here immediately after lunch. But uh, they know full well that, uh, weather permitting, there is an awful long time to go in this game yet. Might just leave a gap, uh, fine, down to third man too, and uh, the boot, not enough. Robert Croft made his 15 yards round the boundary edge to try and cut it off. Got there. Couldn't uh, prevent it going over the line, and in the process, allows Gary Kirsten to reach 50. 52 not out from 176 ball. Going to get that. Umpire Doug Cowie is the international umpire from New Zealand. This one just going on with the arm, not really turning. Certainly not enough. He's a long way down. Alex Stewart's not convinced, but uh, Robert Croft asked the question. Uh, Kirsten looking for two. Robert Croft, uh, third man, uh, opting to throw to the bowler's end. And Darren Goff opting to try and keep his still slightly damaged finger out of the way. Wasn't quite expecting that throw to come back to his end, I don't think. Strapping on the uh, index finger that was injured in the first test match. He's been wearing protection on it in the field, but obviously not while he's bowling. I think the best thing that could happen for England would be for Darren Goff to get a wicket. You know, coming on fresh after tea, after he's had a bit of a rest before tea, he's had time to change and get nice clean clothes on at tea time. He's now revving up. If he could strike somebody out quickly, might have enough energy and go in him to get another wicket straight afterwards when the new batsman comes in. And then you sort of feel a positive element goes through the whole side, there's a bit of a lift and you feel, well, we're back in the game a bit. But somebody, and it looks to me like Goff more than anybody, is the key guy who might get you a couple of wickets and lift everybody. Nice piece of work from Alex Stewart, but uh, Gary Kirsten had his back foot grounded. Just a chance that the batsman might overbalance from uh, that sort of position. 183 for one, and it's Croft Kirsten. Fine shot, plenty of footwork, and after a Overs of pressure, they eventually break the bonds.
That was a rare attacking gesture from Gary Kirsten. Catch it! Got it away from the man at mid-on. Not a convincing stroke, and uh, it won't go for four. But that shows what can happen when uh, you have accurate bowling. turn that's a beautiful delivery bowling just a tad slower now and I think it shows you see it turning beautifully past the bat that is a very good delivery and very encouraging yes, that's a difficulty when you are bowling slowly You've got to be so precise with the length if it's just a little bit short so slow and turn so slowly that the batsman's got plenty of time to get back and really punch it into the gap. You're not in for one, and uh, it's awful when you drop a catch off someone else's bowling. Just adds a little bit of insult to it when you drop it off your own. And the partnership record now broken. So these two have uh, quietly been notching up a few milestones this afternoon. Now the new holders of the all-time second wicket highest partnership for South Africa against England. Uh, there's a chase for Angus Fraser. And the ball's going to win. That's a very good effort from the South. And he's bought to Gary Kirsten. Eight becomes 99. That single produced uh, a new record second wicket partnership for South Africa against all countries. Uh, that was uh, previously against India in Calcutta, where Kirsten made 133 and Colin 153 not out. And uh, it gets it off a short ball. Good hundred from Gary Kirsten. We can underline that he hasn't been in the best of form in the major matches, but he's been making runs at uh, the level against the counties. Good performance. Now Darren Goff. Short and wide and four. Well, that's a way to celebrate your uh, hundred isn't it admittedly short and wide but he didn't play anything like that yesterday really did race off the middle of the bat yeah, that's beautiful place that field is quite fast again may even be a little bit quicker than yesterday lovely square drive from Gary Kirsten not all that bad a ball was up there for the, the drive and therefore the chance of the air. Beautifully played. Wasn't badly bowled. It was very well up. Just a little trouble with the line there, but I know Dominic Cork was trying to get that Yorker in there. Just reared on the leg side. It was jammed out into one of those very sharp leg glides. It is a funny game, isn't it? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that ball. Similar type ball to the one Croft has been bowling all along. Man's brought in close, so Kirsten leaps down and smashes it off the centre of the bat through extra cover. Be able to stay in, no problem at all. They may have difficulty getting runs. Not so easy to play the shots, although it looks now as if he might be going to come out of his shell. And if he is, I think that's right. He's got South Africa in a good position as Kirsten. 
I would have expected the South African captain to say to him, now, see if you can get after the bowling a little bit. We're in a position we shouldn't lose the game. Now we've got to think of winning it. <laughs> well, in the end, the uh, single given away, there was a, <laughs> a cry out, a shout of dive from Alex Stewart behind the stumps. A little bit in jest, but someone it caught got to the ball very easily. He's got there with the left hand and booted it into touch. Uh, more Man City than Man United, I think. Uh, that's been clobbered away, no doubt about that, with the spin. Nothing wrong with that at all. Clattered away by Gary Kirsten. Well, this one's floated up, but Kirsten, 133 before that shot, now 137, no outfielder. Not really a dangerous shot. Well, there we are. That's uh, the fruit of floating it up outside off stump and uh, bringing the batsman forward, and that one going straight on. But I can't think of many spinners in certainly my day who would have bowled without a man out there. He's pitching the ball outside the off stump, so it's a, as you say, the leg right across, covering the stumps, an easy and natural swing of the bat with the spin. Uh, oh, well, there's a bit of luck there for Kirsten. <laughs> a large slice of luck, in fact, because the ball's gone for four, but... Uh, I think Gus Fraser would have imagined that that ball would have been chopped down onto the stumps. He's used this to good effect, Darryl, I mean, uh, Gary Kirsten, I beg your pardon. He's trying to run that away down to third man, and it's far too close to the stumps. Brilliant shot. Line this time crashed away outside the off stump. Just a little wide from Angus Fraser, but it's the 150 comes up for Gary Kirsten. What a fine innings. Very neat. Very neat indeed. And affectionate as well. Oh, how sweet. They haven't really made their mind up uh, and both got a foot to it <laughs> and ended up in the gutter. Well, there you go. That's a fine shot. Too good for Nick Knight out at deep cover. Give him plenty of width that time, Gary Kirsten, but he waited nicely for the ball and placed it away behind square. Yeah, he got the width here so that he could use the pace of the ball as well. That's what you want on slow surfaces. Anybody who gives you any width, pull shot, hook shot, square. Uh, he's got that uh, in the air. Robert Croft down at long leg, can't get to it. And six runs. Well, Gary Kirsten uh, spent most of the game ducking underneath these. It seemed to hang in the air for some time, but it carried the boundary. Yes, there must have been just a moment when Dominic Cork thought that it might have been catchable, but uh, Robert Croft couldn't get to it. At least it induced a, a shot in the air, because nothing else has, uh, has looked as if it's going to bring a wicket to England. Daryl Cullinan, using the trouble for England. 
They've done it very well, following on a big partnership between Kirsten and Callis. More heartache for England. Nicely picked up. Good quick throw on the turn. Yes. Moving down the wicket. Immediately set off just on the left hand side. And I think he was home anyway. Very good piece of fielding. And good running as well. That's a good shot. Finds the gap. But there are two men out deep on the onside. There's one of them. Dominic Cork. And he's home. And up goes Kirsten's back because that's 200. A double century. He's delighted. He set off, I'm sure, only for two runs. And then they saw the possibility of the third and... Jubilation for Gary Kirsten really has been the, the rock on which this innings has been built. He's never pressed too hard. He's played well within his talents and picked up his runs exactly the same place as he's always picked them up. And that's in the air. It's a really... Risky shot is one of the, the few shots we've seen where the batsman not quite to the pitch of the ball, but Gary Kirsten gets away with it. Oops, that's out. He's gone. At last, with an old, old ball. It's 79th over, or the 80th over rather. They can't believe it. Second ball of the over. The first one rose a little bit there, and the second brought to an end this long and